Yeah, yeah, what's good, Joe? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for tonight, Pat Scorpion, the New England representative. As always, I got my man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, what it do? It's Shutterworth, the God, the GOAT artist, LB, lot of Dell Balls, the Soul Wolves creator, you know what I mean? Ringgangradio.com. Yes, sir. Ring Gang in the house, probably running always. And those, I got my other man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hey, yo, what up, what up? You already know who this is. Your boy King P, Bodega P, Bodega Boxing in the building. Let's get it. Hey, Bodega P, King P, straight from the sewer. Yes, sir. Battling the Foot Clan as always. And always, I got my other man with me. He come, he's coming straight from the bunker, kid. Yeah, what, tell him who you are. It is the favorite, I guess, maybe, I don't know who it is, but from every once in a while for special episodes, it's yo PJ the coach hanging from undisclosed location. As long as this nigga doesn't tell any kind of extra clues about me in Canada. <laughs> yes, you know, yes, you know, he's from the land of the of the bad milk and shit, nigga. Word up. You know, so uh <laughs> so yeah. Even know what people were all right, to- kill all the black people around me. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> the, the land of the bad milk. <laughs> Bag milk, man. You know, milk in a bag, man. Oh, That's bag I'm... milk. Oh, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I heard bad, not bag. Bagged, yes. You know, because you niggas drink milk out of a fucking bag and shit. <laughs> That's how they do it in Canada. I mean, they, sell juice. they used to have juice in a bag back in like high school and shit, like in middle school, like the little juice. That's different. That's Capri Suns, nigga. That's different. No, 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 not gonna... Capri Suns. Like, I'm talking about the little government shit you got, like the little he bag on juice. Care. He does not care. I, I, I did not receive government stuff. No, yeah, nigga, from the school, either. bro. Jeez. <laughs> God, that you fuck y'all niggas. Yeah. 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 And, uh, B, where are you? Did you get any Fair. government shit? I'm... <laughs> um, no, I did not actually. I'm talking hey! about the, the, the state issued lunch, y'all niggas bugging, man. Right? No, no, I didn't get the no, I didn't get the state issued lunch either. Like, no, nah. I don't come from another part of the world, so I can't answer. I mean, in high school, you could choose what, what you like. You could eat the regular food or or the other shit that you had. I'm just saying the option was there. Like, I mean, that is true. Of, yes. Yeah, for but me. I think for peace suggestion. And it's just like you could either like you know get some food, join a gang, get stomped out. So his <laughs> options are a little bit different. <laughs> Fuck, I wasn't giving away my bag juice. <laughs> Stomping it, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> oh shit, you know, this is wilding today. But um, yeah, you know, it's always good to have a little sense of humor. You know, there's not much to laugh about in the world today. Um, I don't know if you, unless you've been in a cave or something. Or you're, or you're like a hermit sitter or whatever, or away, for, or away in a remote place. You know, there's, there's, safe. there's a lot of sick things yeah. going on in the world today. Oh, and you got too much money. If you live in a cave, please let me let, uh, invite me in. Like, the fuck? Bruce Wayne, <laughs> holla at, Bruce Wayne, holla at me. Let me know too, so I can rob you. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, man, like it's, it basically could sum up in two words, coronavirus. You know, I mean, if you're not, so yeah, coronavirus, we all know, is this virus that's spreading like, you know, spreading like God knows what. I mean, and it, in any country, everyone gets it. Coronavirus causes a whole bunch of respiratory disorders. Um, and it could be from very mild to very serious to the point where you have, where you lose like 20 or 30% of your, you know, respiratory function. And you may have to go on iron lung, or you just may die. You know, so um, originally, yeah. kind of something choose your own adventure. Yeah, <laughs> there, there you go. Choose your own adventure. And then, you know, it's basically, you know, our incompetent government knew of this and was told, you know, that this could be an epidemic. And um, the proper people were fired 
you know, who could probably try to maintain this or try to do something about it early to nip it in the bud. And then we have, you know, people from China, Iran, Italy, you know, that's where, it, that's where it's hit right now. And it's gotten to the point where, you know, people that are in, or it's, and did I mention China or Japan? No, it was China. Um, you know, where this disease, where this uh, virus is uh, originate, allegedly from people eating bats, allegedly. And um, in some weird animal called a pandolin. Uh, that shit sounds. That, that shit sounds. Wait, wait, wait! Did I hear bullshit. something about Bex? Oh, what about, what about Bex right now? Yeah, that, that 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 bat shit sounds bullshit. Uh, it's like almost like how they said AIDS came from a monkey. Fuck out of here! I wouldn't I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave that alone too, because uh, you know AIDS is AIDS is something different. But I right. believe- so I'll just add this little bit here. It's like here are how the Africans step away. <laughs> yes, because you know AIDS. You know what Africans believe about AIDS is, uh, you know, you know we, we we don't like to talk about it all that much. But you know, P, you're probably wrong. <laughs> ah, you should, yeah, just go with it. <laughs> all I know is this disease came from some out of nowhere. It seems, or from some wet market, niggas eating like they on the set of damn the protector. Right, in a fucking restaurant. <laughs> niggas, niggas eating like they're like from fucking Bear Grill show or whatever, eating any goddamn thing. And I, yeah. and I saw a wild ass YouTube video on the wet market. Oh my dog, I almost threw up. This shit was nasty. Uh, yeah. Hold on, you talk about the one where the lady was like, I think it's like 15 minutes. Yes. You know, yeah, that shit was disgusting. What? The type of food they had there. What? Like, yeah, yeah, man. They had like, like sand, was... like dirt fish. What? Wait, wait what? Yeah, no. Yeah, it was it was gross, man. No one can stand unless they have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, PJ, I'll, I'll send you the link to that directly, like uh, through the WhatsApp, man. But yeah, that uh, shit, yeah, I, 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 was watching that shit the, I was watching that shit in the middle of the night. I was like, yo, how the fuck did they eat all this bullshit? Like, this is, like, I mean, think yeah, had him, himself a little horror movie and chill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, I was like, and, and, and like, like I said, I don't have any doubt in my mind that this virus originated from unsanitary conditions of eating disease, possibly diseased meat. There's no question in my mind. That's how it, it's not man-made. I don't. No. That, I think it's know, man-spread, though. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a better you option. Know, they they give you boosters. Made. It was just people just not paying attention. Be like, oh, yo, I'm gonna be good. I'm special. I'm like, ah, who you talk to, my G? Yeah, and, and, and coronavirus is just, you know, just this minor buzzword to something where if I turn on the TV in the morning to watch the news, coronavirus. If I go on internets in the morning, it's coronavirus. If I get notifications on my phone from fucking Bleach Report, coronavirus. You know, it's, it, it, it slowly has just permeated permeated our my life and I'm pretty sure everyone's yeah. life. Yeah, this is... This is worse than the fucking. This is worse than the SARS epidemic, and I remember the SARS shit. Yeah, the SARS shit. You know, yeah. I Actually, think- Pete, I had another question for you because it was like the SARS epidemic and things like that, and it's only. And you can confirm if I'm wrong as shit if I did, because I for some weird reason, because like because of the event, we had to just sit down and listen to stuff that we're hearing through. So I was watching old Dizzy and Mero episodes. What was the Legionnaire stuff? Nigga, what? What? Are you talking about the Legionnaire's disease? Yes. In that I don't of- know. I just want to know a bit more about it because they say, they were trying to say trying to con- con- say like it's contained to a certain area. Was it contained or is like it was everywhere, but people didn't want to give it that good answer. That's all I just want to find out. Wasn't the Legionnaire's disease? There wasn't. The, when was there an outbreak of that? Yeah, you talking about like something like. Hundreds of years ago, type shit. Unless yeah, something, unless they the same name or something else recent. Similar, uh, similar symptoms. I, I don't remember any of that ha- happening in New York, though. <laughs> I'm asking the guy in New York to ask him what he thought about it. <laughs> PJ, <laughs> his nigga is so wild, yo. But yeah, the coronavirus is just, it's just like everywhere, man. It's just like, I mean, it, it's got to the point where it used to, it, it got to the point where in my personal life, it's, you know, I have to work from home and uh, everyone's like, ooh, you know, that's a bad thing. You know, it's, it's not a bad thing, but it's kind of annoying because I like, I like to have my choice of actually doing that or not. 
Um, and, and of course, I don't like having the choice taken away from me because, you know, in my work area, there's alleged three cases that, you know, that says a positive. So I kept on getting emails for like nine days straight until I come to a confirmation. So it's like, okay, you know, yeah, you know, you guys got to work from home indefinitely. So I don't know what- I got a question for you. I got a question for you. So because we know there's different workplaces, why they should work from home, what would you think are the situations where they should work, they should show up anyway, regardless of the risk? Out of no. curiosity. If you're, I guess if you're essential, I mean, it depends on the industry. Me, you know, you know, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm business IT, we're IT people. So I can, you know, I can- Yeah, so that's what I'm asking you as another IT person, because like we know what we can consider should be separated from. Actually, you know what? Because we both think the same way. In terms of like other jobs where people don't think like, oh, they should not work from home. Like they should, because we both know they should do it from in terms of like, you know, a work or like a service uh, person said. Yeah, but I mean, honestly, if you work for a health provider, you can't work from home. They, they, yes. they're, gonna, they're gonna want, damn it, you're gonna have to come in here. Someone has to, someone has to check but it out. I mean, <laughs> no, but I mean the guys who aren't fall in that category. Because there's some people who could possibly work from home but they just made to work for home. They had got to show up for no good reason. Yeah, well, I mean, if they show up for them, then, you know, they like to play Russian roulette then. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm, all right, I work for you just ask a question. Important. <laughs> no, you, you, you basically gave the answer. I was like, unless they have to, so. <laughs> LB, what were you trying to say? Oh, no, I was saying that. <clears throat> I'm saying, I think me and Pete started at the same time, but my bad. Um, I would just say, like, you got to just see, like, I, I guess it comes down to whose job is more important type shit. Like, that's what it almost seemed like they basing it off of. Like, I don't like that kind of approach. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but the niggas is like, okay, well, you know, all the health people, uh, medical workers' jobs are super important because they need to check in y'all sick asses, so they got to work. It, yeah, it took how many years before that happened? <laughs> all you motherfuckers who couldn't, who who, who don't want to cook, even though y'all damn raided all the fucking stores, you know, yes. so the motherfucker at, at McDonald's and Burger King got to work. And yeah, restaurants yeah. gotta work. Oh, we, I'm going we to don't tell serve you, you know, takeout only type shit. Like every person who did that, like, oh, I'm just like grown for the event. I'm like, every African ethnic parent is looking at you terribly right now. <laughs> they're all thinking you're a terrible person, and they're telling all their friends and family that you're just not a good person. <laughs> you won't know who they are. You're just gonna show up randomly one day, and they're just gonna know you're a terrible person. That's it. <laughs> well, I know my parents don't think I'm a terrible person. That's for damn sure, you know. Yeah, because they know you know better. You know, but that, but that's but what LB said. That supermarket shit was real because I, I had a, I had a day off on Friday. It was just death for me just to chill, you know, to mentally, you know, unwind from what I do for a living. And I went into a market basket near me, and I was in there for two fucking hours. Two hours. <laughs> Like dog, like it was a madhouse. Like lines for the for the cash registers. Every every cashier was on deck. Lines everywhere. Lines in the aisles. Like people, like all the eggs and chicken were gone. Dog, I was like, bruh, like what the fuck? Like I had to like everything else. Like like they were like in toilet paper too. And toilet paper, you know, in the news you heard people like they're you know getting all types of toilet paper and hand sanitizer and doing like a fucking 200 to a thousand percent markup on you know on some on the internet and shit like that like those hand sanitizer but toilet paper the only, the only toilet paper that was left was the 25 pack and i had to go buy that shit i'm like i don't need i don't have use for a 25 pack i don't have mad people in my place like that <laughs> have 25 pack I'm a lot of people but motherfuckers just panic and, and greed like yes so many motherfuckers are greedy like it, it's, it's ridiculous that's essentially yeah, what it is. It's greed. Yeah. They, like, there's no... And the worst part is, like, they don't understand that, like, if, like, in an event of, a, of an actual quarantine, this does nothing. Like, them getting 25 no. packs of toilet paper. Yeah, exactly. It's like what I said earlier in the chat. I was just like, yo, dude, like, yo, I'm gonna be the guy that, like, you know, that, you know, the end of the world 
the joints and Kobe the guy makes me. I'm like, no, you're gonna be wait, the wait, guy. Wait. Able- you, you got to do your voices a little louder, bro. Like that, you started sounding like a hobbit or some shit or some creature. <laughs> How do I sound now? <laughs> How do I sound now? Yeah, you sound better now. I'm saying like when you do your little, you know, I'm, like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm just telling me I'm just like, hey, because I know because we talked about it a while before. Because a lot of people think, it's like, oh, I'm going to be that guy who's going to be that winning that, like, you know, the, the end of the world situation. I'm like, no, you're not. You're literally one of the guys who get cleaned out because you guys are too stupid about how to, like, approach it. Because it was like, yo, I got all this shit. I'm just like, do you not think the guys who want to kill you are not going to kill you to do this? <laughs> yeah, niggas ain't flossing. Yeah, niggas, niggas are flossing Rolex, but they ain't flossing no damn pantry it's full like, of damn goods. It's it's right. like some of these guys do not realize I'm like, you know, when things really come down to the end, there's guys who are not going to give a shit about your your own safety anymore. They're going to just kill you. They're like, no, we, they're we, not, got not. The, we ain't got to that part in the story yet, though, man. It's like, this is just the beginning chaos. Like, everybody trying to just, you know, bogart, you know, all the supermarkets. Like, you can't go in the afternoon or, or too late in the afternoon yeah, you can't go in the morning. I guess I'm I'm going the way so I'm sorry, but just caring about other people who go through that same situation. So I'm just like, all right, cool. <laughs> Yo, like all I know is that I don't want to be in that shit again because I had to go to two different stores to get everything that I needed on my list, and they were all it was all a fucking nightmare. Uh, well, Matt, you're way too big for any situation, so it needs like three people to take you down anyway. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm lucky because when all else fails, the bodegas got everything. Bodegas come in the clutch. Yeah, of course. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know that's that New York lifestyle. You know, fortunately, I live in the boonies. Well, I, I mean, well, I, also, I, also have to, I also have to pay a dollar. I also have to pay a dollar fifty, two dollars extra for some stuff, but that's the price you pay. Hey, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> like. PD's talking to me was like, yo, I need some people who can speak more in the Spanish to let you be like, hey, papi, papi, come over here, papi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, man, it's, it's really an annoyance more than anything. Like, right. Yeah, I, that's what it is. Cause, like, niggas ain't really, it's like for some reason, nobody's like, the roads are kind of clear. Like, not clear, but they're not fucking like. Me. Yeah, they they little they a little lightweight like and, and I've been like all over Florida because even last week I had to go to the uh, doctor and shit. I go all the way down to Miami and shit and like, niggas just like yeah man you know y'all probably got we got down there quick as fuck like <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you're like wee you're like yeah you know I mean? just get down there you know do your thing. Where's your rule? <laughs> <laughs> like like a lot of shit but then it's like the energy people have like and you, you know what I mean like I'm walking around afterwards in Ikea like you know with the, um, the medical bracelet like the medical band you know I, I coughed once and then motherfucker was like sizing me up like I'm like hold on <laughs> beat your big ass <laughs> fuck out of here like yeah <laughs> like, you know I mean so it's like you, you see the energy out there yeah, because me, me and Jay talked about a bunch of those. It's like, yo, we know there's like these things coming up. I'm just like, why don't you just do the things that help, like you know, the nurses and doctors? Why don't you just do what they tell you to do? Don't try to be like, yo, I made my own solution because I looked on like you know the cartoon section of a newspaper. <laughs> no, no, no. Are you talking about that? I've seen some article where. These people in 7 Eleven, um, they was making some handmade hand sanitizer and kids end up getting burned up with them, and so they arrested like seven people. That's you see, that's what I'm talking about. See, people are just trying to, it's just a whole bunch of come up, and that, that's that's the danger, that's some dangerous, shit. like, and this out of a 7 Eleven, like you would think, like, some off the wall, off the street bodega, no name place would do some shit like that. Hey, yo, like, 7-Eleven's an actual brand, like. <laughs> actually, there's one actually good, actually. Hey, yo, P. What up? You know, this would be the perfect time that people should act like a New Yorker and be like, yo, get the fuck out of here. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm but I mean, suggestion. <laughs> dude, that's gonna end up in mass pandemonium and ambulances everywhere. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. Like the entire state is gonna just gonna turn to like a, just a bigger part of New York. <laughs> Shit, man! It's like if all the worst parts of every state or region just came together, like, like, nah, this country ain't ready for this shit. Like, like, motherfuckers in Florida, we used to this shit every year with the damn hurricanes, and motherfuckers yeah, still lose their mind. So yeah, because I'm like, I get confused because like some people like I see what they're saying and like on TV and stuff. I'm like, did this not happen in Florida just like a year ago? Or like a year or two ago, because it's so important. Like I'll talk, I'll talk with Jim. I was like, and like I told Jim, it's just like, yeah, that happened another day. I was like, uh, so what are you supposed to do? Just like, just run with it, nigga. <laughs> it's like, it's like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean that's Florida. Now, Florida, Florida has a, is is is, 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 is in a perpetual state of fuckery. So that's how it goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have to I be. Mean, like, I mean, you know he's low key, right? I mean, <laughs> well, well I'll, yo, I'll speak on I'll speak on one thing on some real shit that um that's some Florida shit that I hate to see now, and it's just getting to the point. I'm gonna just yeah. make a public service announcement about it. Like, can please can people please stop coming down here for spring break and going to South Beach? Like <laughs> that is yo. done. Like, yo. like yo, yo, chill, chill, chill. Like, like real talk. Like, like I know it's shut down now. Like they shut down the beach. I mean, motherfuckers is still up in Clearwater and um other parts of Florida. Like, there's a gang of motherfuckers at the beach. Like, like niggas is at the beach right now. Like, <laughs> like it's not a style. Like, like God said. Like, look, I'm gonna just take my hand and scoop up the beach next week. So y'all all go enjoy this motherfucker right now. <laughs> That's how niggas is out the beach now. So, but but back to the whole spring break shit. Like all the videos and shit I keep seeing with cops hemming up people for like literally breathing. It's just yeah. like it's like this every year. Like people like there's South Beach is no big fucking deal. Like like seriously. Like I mean I know people are gonna be like, well, nigga y'all live down there. You, you, you go there all the time. Like no 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 serious like. The fucking vibe is different. Like, I almost feel like if you didn't come up in the Lil John era or the era that came out right after that, AJ. like, then you just missed it. Like, it is it, su- super troll down there with with all these fucking with these fucking um racist ass cops and, and these bully cops down there. It's like they don't want to en- you to enjoy shit. You can't breathe. You can't speak. These niggas are waiting on some fucking um animal velociraptor shit. Like it'll be like twenty of them surrounded in camouflage, and they wait for you to just speak greasy to one cop. Or if you walk away from a cop, or if a cop get loud, if you make a sudden movement or whatever it is, these niggas are surround you. Like and you're like, God damn, where these motherfuckers come from? Like, bruh. Yo, that, yo, out that, there, like, yo, that's just awful. Because I mean, I've, 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 I've been to Spring Break before and South Beach before, and I had, <laughs> I, had I had a great time. It's, 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 yeah, how long ago was that? Let's just say it, it's my, it was my final vacation. And cocaine as, as was a, around. Let's just say it was my final vacation <laughs> as, as a single man before I actually got into my relationship with my. Yeah, but push yeah, it through the limit. One year, like that, that, that had to be that. That wasn't no fucking A-O-P. last year. No last five you gotta years. be alive for this. You gotta be alive for this conversation. He's been around. I'm sure he saw Scarface. <laughs> what? Nigga, we ain't talking about going to South Beach when damn Uncle Luke dropped. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. I, I went. To, I went to South Beach in 2009, bro. That, that was still. That was still an era, bro. You know. What I'm saying? Yeah, I said the era after that. Yeah, nigga. And I, 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 I have. I'm I just have, fucking I, around. I to, um, nigga, 2000. Look, bro. 2009 was 11 years ago. It's way. It's, it's not. It's a whole different vibe now. Like, bro. It like, is. You niggas made this shit too fucking famous. Yeah. And now they police it like a motherfucker. Like, yeah. If you look like you, if you look like you just into some that. shit, motherfuckers are fuck with you. Like, it, it's I can't even explain. Like, y'all see the videos that be coming up. Y'all hey, yo, see Pat. that one cop 
mm-hmm. you know, choke out that one girl for, you know, bumping into <laughs> him. Like, you, you hey, it's back. just ridiculous. Like, stop giving the city the money. Like, stop coming down there. Like, go find a I, new, find a new place. That's all I'm saying. Like, nothing good I'm comes from that to... shit. PJ, mm-hmm. let me see if I can find like a good uh, example for him. Hey, Pat. Yeah. It's like me being you, the little cousin, and then you already went past it, and they're trying to like push me ahead of you. I'm just like, but what you mean? It's like, can I do a Pat did? I'm like, but Pat's gone already. Oh, what do you want to do? <laughs> PJ, <laughs> just do that. That's the situation I'm at right now. I was just like, yo, Pat's already wow. gone, but Pat can just do whatever the fuck he wants and be like, why can't you be like him? <laughs> no, I mean, no, I get what he's saying. Like, because back then the vibe was different. Like, the cops, like, they was out there, but they weren't strategically doing shit like oh, they're no, doing Jay. now. Like, now Jay. it's like they ambushing niggas. And, and it's like, these same motherfuckers, if there's Jay. someone shooting in the school, these niggas will wait outside until after niggas done died or, or the no. gunshots stop before they want to be gangsters. Jay, we're talking about like that little middle part, which Pat fully understands. When as soon as it's like, oh, he's just way past the head, it's just like, there's there's no answer to it. You just gotta deal with it. You're hundred <laughs> percent right. What you're saying, so it's like just with like African parents anyway. It's just like if they have some person, it's like, yo, he's the he's a senior person. Doesn't matter what the fuck he does the rest of his life. I just got like X of just. <laughs> Cause I know, cause one of us is feeling a little extra lit right now, so I am. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh we know, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? But I'm saying it as a person who's seen it and uh, experienced it. Uh. But nah, 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 nah. Hear, pee, pee me out, pee me out, pee me out. Like, yeah, I'm hearing, I'm hearing. What's, hearing. what's the, the, what's on the Corona drink, coronavirus drink list right now? I have no fuck. Nah, nigga, you you have plenty of crew, uh, clues. You Sherlock Holmes in it right now, nigga. <laughs> what, I'm what, just having. Nah, nah, you got nah, nigga. What you been drinking, nigga? Nah. You want to know what it is? White Hell cloth. Yeah, the, the people want to know. White cloth. White cloth. That's probably that what polar bear shit. Hell. Yeah, that's how I knew you guys didn't know what it was. That's why I didn't want to oh, say. Oh, you said white claw. Okay, describe oh, it. White claw. White claw, claw. It's not a seltzer. Yeah, there you go. Pat knows what it is. He I knows it's white claw enough. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. A seltzer drink? Yeah. You're going up for wait, seltzer? Mixed with what? <laughs> that's Does it got work the next day, nigga? Dude, no, 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 fucking no. Like, dude, like, I'm literally, like, <laughs> I got Irish in my blood, nigga. I don't be some alcohol. You are not sounding this fucked up off of a goddamn seltzer drink, nigga. No, no way. And you, you got the nerve to say, I got work the next day, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Work from home. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no way. You know how many I've had? <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta tell us that, dude. Shit. I'm on my sixth one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, BJ, no, you you wouldn't be able to hang with me, bro. You, you <laughs> bro. <laughs> Why? No, wait, hang on. What? What Pat just said? Why do you think I actively avoid you? <laughs> Cause I, cause I, 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 I drink shit for live niggas. <laughs> exactly. Damn, like, this... I'm not live. I'm not live. I'm not <laughs> live at all. It though, like, like, damn, Patty get you body, bro. Like, <laughs> <It's Damn>. been... <laughs> I... oh, no shit, no, BJ, you are a fucking fool. But yeah, but yeah, no, but with the South, yeah, with South Beat being. Um, what it is now, and that, that's disheartening to see. But then, of course, right now, I think they're, they're, they're saying it's over anyways because they're trying to get people yeah. away so they don't spread the coronavirus. So yeah, it's, because uh, this is the thing, you got to force, it's like you got to put a gun to people's head down here. At the irony. Yeah, the irony. <laughs> to, get off, to get off the beach and stop having fun and shit. Jay, like. Jay, if I had a chance, I would spar with you in the instant. <laughs> you would spar with me in what? I would, I would spar with you. No matter what, spar or fight, whatever. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I... 
but I that from everybody in ring gang like <laughs> no but it's like it's not like any, any of us makes a statement makes a statement it's just like we both have said that for the longest time it's like we just try to find a way to make it happen yeah it's, it's gonna happen you know when 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 this whole resident evil shit is done but yeah <laughs> you know what that's the best description that the resident evil shit's done <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, we definitely have, yeah, because, uh, yeah, because this, this thing is all this, because it's messing into my gym time, because all the gyms that I go to, my own gym, and the gyms near me, I can't go to them because they're like, oh, no, we can't have more than 25 people in there, or no, the, you know, we might close tomorrow, so it's like, I have to go do my home workouts, and I'm just like, oh, I can't, like, you know, I, I'm the uh, like I'm the black man of steel. I need to go to the people <laughs> <laughs> okay. you know, I, I can't, the team. This virus. Oh, no, I the, the, hope you ain't got this shit. Like, oh, I don't got black that. No, 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 the PJ black that, man of that steel. Cough laugh. Black man of steel. Yeah. Right. How did that happen? Yeah, no, it happened because I ate foo foo and a goosey, and bam, I'm the black man of steel. <laughs> Yeah, you know, so you're asking yeah. fucking the juggernaut over here how he become you asking a, a 6'3, 6'4 Nigerian motherfucker how he become damn Superman, like bruh. Yeah, you know, and, and, and I can't and That's I can't have no virus, you know, you know, cutting into my routines and shit, nigga. It's it's, it's so I'm just hoping that this shit will pass because and then like another by, you know byproduct of all this is all the sports being canceled. That that's the that's the worst part of all this coronavirus is NBA season canceled, hockey season yeah. canceled, wrestling yeah. people are wrestling yeah. in fucking empty arenas and shit. But yeah. the, do you know what that means though? Do you know what it means though? We all get to find out like, how can we help everybody else? You know, get them like involved so they get more involved with ring gang. Nigga, what? No, how do you help okay. people? What he said was it's a perfect opportunity to get more people involved with boxing and ring game. Uh, there we go. Yes, you know, cause especially because there's no, because they, because they're, you know, they're canceling fights left and right. This is the worst byproduct of the whole coronavirus. Boxing being canceled. Like, at first it was like one event, then it was two events, then it's like, then all of March. Three, and four, then, five, boom. Like. Yeah, including some that I had, um, you know, I put in a credential for. And the one I don't feel bad about though is the Shakur Stevens one because you know we tried to get my man P in your uh, credential and they didn't want to give us one. And they did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you know, and then bam, they got canceled. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I don't feel bad about it anymore. <laughs> you know, but all the, all this boxing being canceled, it's like now. It's like you know, you now if you're if you're hardcore boxer heads, you know, like you know, pretty much the weekends are like, oh, we got a fight coming up. You know, most of our evenings are based around that now at this point because it keeps for some people it keeps us out of trouble, um, keeps me out of trouble. That's for damn sure. Uh, <laughs> and then you know, and it's it's a cool shit. And then usually if there's no fights on, if there's a little drought, then it's a drought. But this hey, is Pat, like, Pat what? I gotta step away for just a quick second. I'll be right back. Okay. Um. Uh, so, so yeah, the boxing being canceled is is uh, it's unacceptable. Um, bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, it's complete bullshit. Uh, yeah, Pete. What what are your thoughts on all this cancellation in boxing? Uh, and I I I want to pretend that this is just a. I'm gonna pretend like this is you know a bad drought of like last year where there's like no fights in for like a month and a half that I'm like checking for but I can't even do that because it's like I know that there's supposed to be fights and there's not so it pisses me off I'm like sheesh they better make up for this tenfold when we get done with this shit and stack all the fights in like a span of three months I don't give a shit yeah boxing yeah. make up for something <laughs> yeah you owe it they, they owe it I mean I mean, they owe it to us for. I mean, they should use this as a as a uh, opportunity that when it's done, they can just stack up every card. Every 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 week should be filled with. Some Not happening. I, I I know, but it, it, the it only way these motherfuckers could make it back up, if you got a time machine, oh. and you put Floyd Pacquiao main event, you put Wilder Joshua co main event, 
and, and just stack the card at the rest of fuck out. Canelo uh, Golovkin <laughs> when we were supposed to get it <laughs> as a right. third co-main event. <laughs> Right, exactly. Like we, we would literally be like, like a Don King card and st- on steroids to 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 make up for it, and nobody's capable of doing that shit. Right? Yeah, no yeah I mean, they're capable, but they don't want to do it. Right? Yeah, I mean, we can be idealistic. We can try to be optimistic, like, oh yeah, they're gonna come back and they're gonna stack their cards. Because I know the boxers themselves, if you go on their Twitter, it's like they're you know some of them are itching to fight. But the question is, like, is this would, would this be an opportunity for them to take advantage of to like to really reboot boxing? Because prior to the coronavirus, boxing had not been setting 2020 on uh, 2020 on fire, anyways. You know, I mean, no, no, it started to it. It started to like, like I felt like, you know, like the, well, let's 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 dial it back a little because 2020 had its dope moments, but it just seemed like it came from. The guys who were under the elite, like yeah, not, yeah. not it's like the stars weren't really doing it. Like, like Fury Wilder was like the only big event that delivered. Right. Everything right. else, we had maybe two other cards that were exceptional. Uh, yeah, and, like like the Miami card, and then yeah, Miami and, card, and then, and then the Mikey Vargas card, which was exceptional. Yes, the uh, the, the Texas card. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna start just calling them by cities and shit. Yeah, Texas and Miami so, card. <laughs> so you had those two. You had the Wilder uh, main event with Fury. Mm-hmm. And you had one other event, and that was that J Rock and uh, Rosario. Right. Yeah, right, right, right. So you, you really only had four major nights of boxing within yeah. three, no, wait, two months? Two, yeah two months so it wasn't the best but you had a decent little start you know but i felt like it was gonna start getting picking up in april and now nothing yeah like march pretty much now i know top rank and pbc are like yeah march and april it's a wrap you know for all these events world boxing super series you know they, they had that cruiserweight fight that that damn final that has been like postponed for different reasons one because of fuckery and two because of this and now this is being postponed again it's just like in that yeah it, 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 it's just, it, it's just it's highly inconvenient too i mean not just for us for fans like the box themselves especially if they are you know they're in training and they're like almost picking like they're about to almost make weight and now they're facing some uncertainty because they can't really crash their, you know, what they've been doing, because you know boxers they do gain some boxers do gain weight very easily. So it's not like they can just be like, oh, you know, I you know, I don't know what I'm gonna fight again. So let me, you know, let me go go to McDonald's some, you know, purchase some junk food a little bit, and then I'll start all over again. They can't. They have to be and somehow the- never hit the gym after that McDonald's run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just forget all about it at that point. Well, you know, that you know, that double that quarter pounder with cheese kinda hit, so you know, fuck it. You know, yeah. I, I don't need to do no road work tonight. Yeah, exactly. You know, and it, it was wild too, because if you watch the Showbox card on Friday, it is which might be the last televised boxing card for a, for a couple of weeks or so or a month or two. Um, it was just weird seeing it. In you know no no people except for the essential people and then the media in there, this the shit. I mean the shit felt wild. It felt, it felt like old school like two D TV studio. Career, it was a career mode event. Like yeah. uh, you felt like that was like your your third pro fight in fight night. Yeah, <laughs> and one of those little you know journeyman venues. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yeah. You just got the local reporter, you know, you got a young Larry Merchant writing down your stats and shit. <laughs> Couple of other old timers around, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, it, 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 yeah, it was just, it, it was just weird to see. And I, and I was willing to accept it if, you know, the if the fights would come on, it's like, okay, if the fans don't have to be there, then fuck it, you know, then, you know, then have the essential day like before. But they're not even doing that now. It's just like, you know, flat out like hey and then we have the one fight that was supposed to be announced around the time with uh canelo and uh billy joe saunders now it's just like well it's supposed to be may 2nd but now we don't know what it's going to be i mean the fight's all but made but they now they don't even know, they don't even know when or how to even announce that fight because so, i'm not a lesson to be learned 
I'm not I'm not expecting anything until at the latest late June. The, at the earliest. At the earliest. There's, there's a lesson to be learned. Stop fucking being on some diva shit with these negotiations. Yes. Because the fight should have been signed and, 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 and delivered and we could have just been saying, you know, postponing it and not this fucking um well, it was almost signed. Uh, it's, it's finalized, but, you know, no one signed. It's not. Nah, nah, nah. Like, bruh. Like, if, if dude ended up taking them, what? What, it was seven million? No, eight million? Right. Yeah, eight million. Saunders yeah. ended up accepting eight million. Mm-hmm. Then what the fuck were y'all offering this man in the beginning of negotiations that took them a whole two months to fucking finalize and, 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 and get to an agreeable amount? Right, because it's just a cheese and a crouton. That's what it was all. <laughs> it's some, it's some shake. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like uh, uh, the little, little roaches in the ashtray. I don't know, whatever old Oscar was smoking. Yeah. Whatever he got asked, hey, whatever he got offered, I'm getting mad as hell because I know it's gonna come my way. If it remotely comes out, like, I'll be mad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, because I mean, we don't know what Oscar. I mean, yeah, because I mean, Oscar's had a history of lowballing a lot of these offers, you know, sending a lot of bullshit over. And I know Oscar doesn't. And I think it's just out of Oscar and the zone. But I mean, you know, Billy Joe Saunders is not really has been a draw. So, but then, like I said, I mean, this is the this is the thing with if you if there's no overspending. The fighters that fight on the platform, they want to get paid. They want to see themselves get paid. And it's not, you know, if it was so normal shit, yeah. But remember, this Canelo, you you fighting a guy that you have to win by knockout. Yeah. I mean, and and then remember, y'all gave old ass Kovalev damn what twelve mil. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jacobs yeah. got like what ten mil. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, let me mute myself real quick. Jay's going way too hard for me. <laughs> Yo, yo, PJ, yo, you were done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> but but yeah, man, it's like. No, so I'm talking about like something happen. else that like, me and Jay talked about. So he's going to lead to it. I just don't want to. But but yeah, man, it's like, like Canelo and them. It's like, and this happens every fight for some reason. They 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 lowball and they take forever and they draw out negotiations. The fight has no buzz because. The, the promo was basically the negotiating of the fight. Right. So when it comes time for the fight, we're all like, damn, all right, okay. It start buzzing the last week. Yeah, especially, like, and usually, I mean, they need, like, a good build-up, at least a good eight-week build-up, and it's just like, you know, they were trying to fight on May 2nd, and it's like, you, know, you couldn't even make your announcement, like, I mean, this should have been made, like, in February, you know, sometime at yeah. the late. You know, and it's just like, and it's like, motherfuckers is just like, you know, they keep bullshitting with this, and then now, it, it, that was extended, which is an inconvenient to both fighters because the because of all the negotiations and shit. I that mean, we're dudes only fighting once and twice a year anyway. Exactly, it's like well, most I mean, of these fighters, you know, like most of these fighters, and, and it's just like, it's like, hey, you know, we could have had more high profile fights this year if motherfuckers just, you know, got off their asses and just like, okay, you know. Remember, they made a big deal about him about finally offering seven mil. But Saunders just held out for that damn, that, that uh, extra mil. Yeah. And I yeah. don't blame him. Yeah, like I said, I mean, that's how it is. The zone golden boy. That, I mean, that's, you know, that's, unfortunately, it's the president. You know, you got you got to get paid, bruh, you know, to do the, to do what they do um, uh, on that platform. And this is a, this is a side effect. Um, so, yeah, we had, now we have all these fights that are just like, all these fights were canceled. Like honestly, I was starting to get the shakes. I was starting to feel like Pookie in New Jack City when they kept like, every time they kept like, saying that a fight was canceled. Like I felt, I, I felt shakes coming on. You know, this is like this is like withdrawals because now it's like I got to spend my weekends doing something else. Now, yes, you know, now honestly, I mean, it's good to be social, and I am a social person. But there are weekends where I just want to sit. I just want to sit back, kick back, and watch some damn boxing on Saturdays. <laughs> that, like honestly. That's how I feel. I'm old, man. I don't need, you know, like, you know, I just, that's, that's, that's what I like to do. I like to chill, grab a beer or whatever, and sit on my couch or my my L-shaped recliners or whatever, man. Just chill out, man. Watch some boxing. 
So I know it's the thing is like I can chill out with anything. It's just boxing. It's just I need that man. I need that violence. I need that. Yeah. You know what nothing can. No matter what, how good a movie is, it's not going to compare to boxing. Like exactly. And then, and then plus two, like I said, it's habits. Like you know, I've been watching boxing since like the fucking you know late fucking eighties. But you know what I'm saying? And like religiously since probably like the 90s somewhere in the mid 90s you know what i mean so it's just like you know you're just used to saturday there's a fight going on you sit there you do that and you're good you know what i'm saying it's, it's if you do it you do it for so long you know it's hard to break habits like that sometimes you know and you know and then now of course you have to be you do other things be constructed i mean i say you know i have a lady lb has a lady p has a lady um and PJ's, I think, is a swinging bachelor, you know. So I mean, obviously, you know, yes, you know, we have ladies we can spend quality time with them. But in my case, mine's has been in St. Lucia on vacation, so it's like, you know, she's here. It's like, God, I have to find something else to co- occupy myself and not to fall into old vices. <laughs> oh man, you know, and I, I know. I mean, we all have. I mean, what was that, P? Oh, okay. it is life. I guess it's like we all have to live a life beyond boxing right now. But you know, we we do, and it's like you know, just have to get. I mean, we have to get used to it. I, I mean, and, that's not hard for me. I know how to divvy up my time a little bit, but eh, it's still like it's good to have those options and. The boxing option is not there right now. So, right, and there's no sports options. Like usually, this is basketball season because usually, I mean, obviously the basketball. This is you know, right the time basketball would be playing like almost every fucking day, and basketball's not there. So it's like you know that's suffering, and I'm just thankful that football season isn't in the fall because if there's no football, no, they, there was XFL. If you watch that, I watched it, but I wasn't. Let's not. I watched the XFL. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, the XFL is some other bullshit. Um, <laughs> so it was basically at least y'all got different sports. Like me, like boxing is like taking away like your only child to me. So <laughs> like, literally, like that's you know you take away boxing is like you 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 know you home invasion and you shot my kid in the head and you laughed at me. <laughs> that's how I that's how I feel with boxing going like yeah. You, yeah, you know, uh, no, everybody's I, like, "Well, you know, you took NBA, you took this, you took that. Oh, and you took boxing too." I'm like, "You took my baby. You took boxing. <laughs> like nobody else meant anything. You took." Uh, baby. Yeah, he's right about what he says. <laughs> so it's like, man, and this I already has other shit taken away from me. So it's like you taking boxing. It's like, damn, that's like y'all took like literally like almost like the like number three on the list like damn it's like I don't... yeah it's... that's like one of my major enjoyments in life like real talk like like some days like certain weeks i would just look forward to boxing like saturday night more than anything else yeah like, I, I, like, exactly yeah you know it's like and then you you do that and it's just like oh good you know once you once you get your Friday your Saturday or Friday fix or whatever, you good for a, you got to start your week, and now it's, now now it's just like, well I mean the I mean the bright side of this is obviously we can revisit old fights you know like if you if you read my forgotten fades articles you know I like to highlight fights that are not are not as talked about as they should be even though they are you know they are damn near classic or near classic. And I know I think that's like the vibe I see in the boxing in the boxing social media. People are revisiting old fights, so that's that's that's, that's, that's actually one plus, you know. Because I mean, it's a moment you know everybody could indulge in in that. Right, but I mean, but but unfortunately though, it's not it, it, it's not the it's usually the hardcore that indulge in, not like the it, you you'll rarely find a casual that indulges in that type of behavior like that. Um, yeah, but you know that's you know and, and, and this is why I could understand where PJ was coming from earlier with the whole doing a part I mean you know spread out the love and, and let people know like yo we got 
all types of fights that you can watch and, and hear about and you know ringgameradio.com the articles forgotten phase like Pat said like you know if you a hardcore boxing fan and you know some people who want to see a good fight and they not necessarily a boxing fan mm-hmm. send them send them that link yeah send them the video like even if you don't give them the article or, or, or the website link you know at least give them the YouTube uh, the you the fight on YouTube or something like yeah, I, at the I, end I, of the I, day, we want niggas to enjoy boxing and, and for boxing to get bigger. Yeah, and I, and I do it all the time. Like if you if if you see me on Twitter or whatever, I I I I'm forever. If I if someone asks me what fight should I watch, I should I write a little more off like it's nobody's business. You know, let's say you know you got to you know just like I said you know just get some you know get some perspective. You know you know each one to teach one. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like that, that's that's all it is. Yeah, and, and, know, like, and, and now is a chance for a lot of the boxers to really interact and reach out to the fans and 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 grow yeah. their they brand. Exactly, because I mean, some boxers do it. You know, some boxers are just like they can't be bothered, and some just don't yeah. don't even have one. You know, which is actually kind of weird in 2020. Like, especially if it's a young cat, you know, who's not on his social media ground like he should be. You know Especially I mean? if you got no fight coming up, like there's no excuse right now. Like, yeah, like I mean, you're, I mean, the biggest Dude's promoter, yeah, like the biggest promoter a fighter can have is himself. He should be able to market himself. He knows himself. He should be able to do something to reach the masses. We have more than this ain't the '90s. This ain't nice where you have Don King, you have Bob Barham or whoever, you know, out there doing all the only in America. <laughs> You know that type of shit. Yeah, you, ain't, you don't got a A and R's no more. Label don't don't promote you right. You can promote yourself and do your thing, man. You know you take your career in your own hands. Like that. That's that's really when it comes down to it. Just like dealing with this damn virus now, man. You just gotta take this shit into your own hands. Literally, wash right. your fucking hands. <laughs> exactly. Use hand sanitizer. You know, if you touch your ass or whatever, make sure you wash your hands. I can't believe you have to tell you have to tell grown ass men. And women's that they have to do this. Like, well, no, no. If if you at the house, if you at home and you use the bathroom, you ain't gonna uh, uh, wash your hands. Like I, I heard that shit. Yeah, that's like, that's like, man, what? <laughs> or if you, or if you just, or yeah, it was if you're just going to pee, you don't have to wash your hands. So I'm just like, no, no, it does, that's not how it works. It, it, yeah, this, not, this is why you can't eat from everybody. Facts. You know, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, because I mean, I work around a lot of uh, people in my in, in my line of work, and obviously, you guys know what I do and where I work. You know, and some of these people don't wash their hands, and like you see them, like, they go over there, go like, brr, 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 like they're at home, and they leave, <laughs> and they need to be fucking stoned. Like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> How do you not wash your hands? Like, this should be common knowledge. Yeah. This should be common sense, but to be law. Yeah, well, that too. Yeah. Like I feel like if you don't wash your hands, like there should like some silent alarm goes off, and as soon as you leave the bathroom, like two Kimbo slice size niggas just start beating your ass. Like, <laughs> nigga, wash your fucking. Mm, mm, like you get stomped out. <laughs> like honestly, like that be nice. Don't don't let me rule the country, nigga. <laughs> yeah, honestly, but it's just sad though that 2020. You know, you have this, you have this thought like you know, if you, you know back then, like oh, 2020 is gonna be it's gonna be super events. But now we're getting now we're getting bodied by by a simple virus because niggas can't go practice sanitary you know sanitary practices. So it's awful, and everything and everything suffers because of it, especially. Us not being able to get some boxing from our current active fighters for probably the next two months, minimum. You know, it's horseshit. <laughs> that's what. That's what. That's what I, I'm do. so disgusted. I don't even want to talk about it no more, man. Like, yeah. like, yeah, you know, yeah. All we can do is, I mean, all we can do is um, to be continued. <laughs> yeah, you know, basically, because you know, we're just waiting to see what the, what happens when the other shoe drops with with, with regarding the coronavirus, and then especially how it. Affects our day to day life and our interest. Um, yeah. Next but, uh, time on uh, Code V uh, nineteen. Uh, yeah. Z. 
basically, and basically, now the only thing is, I'm waiting for one of these, uh, you know, one of these, uh, these young rap niggas to actually mention this in their rhymes. 